Killjoy Jake here, and instead of having friends, I have horror movies. Today we're going to be looking at the Nightmare on Elm Street series and ranking it from best to worst. If you haven't seen or heard of Freddy Krueger's one-liners, then you may want to watch those movies before you watch the rest of this video. Coming in at ninth place is A Nightmare on Elm Street 5, The Dream Child. Yes, I know I said I was going to be less harsh on the sequels this time around, but this movie actually has a pretty good reason for being on the bottom. Nightmare on Elm Street 5 has the reason to be alive. It's literally a remake of part 4, which is literally a remake of part 3. So this, this is the ultimate remake. It is a steaming pile of horse penises. Between some of the crappiest dialogue in a nightmare film and a subplot including a little Freddy Jr. like the kid from Jurassic Park just running around in a Freddy mask, it's by far my least favorite movie in this entire series. Coming in at 8th place is A Nightmare on Elm Street 4, The Dream Master. I mean, just listen to these names, they're all the same. Like I said, my problem with this movie is just the fact that it rehashes everything from 3, but it kills off some of my favorite characters. And here's the thing, Nightmare on Elm Street 3 already has a pretty cheesy plotline, but the thing that made that movie work was the fact that everybody was pretty spot on, pretty pretty into that movie. I, I don't feel like anybody was into this movie, I feel like they just wrote it for more money. The, the production value is so low on this movie that one of the death scenes, they couldn't afford Robert England any, anymore, so they just had his glove fly into the, the scene and just get him right in the gut. I mean, that's, that's so, that's crappy. Come on, you can do a little better than that, Nightmare 4. And the only reason it goes above Nightmare 5 is because of this one-liner. How's this for a wet dream? Coming in at 7th place is A Nightmare on Elm Street 2, Freddy's Revenge. Here's the thing about Nightmare 2 that sucks, in my opinion. It's gay. It's very unnecessarily gay. Listen, I have nothing wrong with people being gay, but I, I would also have the same problem with this movie if the whole thing was just people, were just girls with their boobs out. Like, I, I came to this movie, I didn't come to this movie for, for some kind of sexual porn. I, I don't fap to Freddy Krueger or anything like that. I want to see Freddy Krueger fingering people up with his finger gloves. I didn't want to go to a leather-clad gay bar for some crappy subplot about the gym teacher being gay. I just feel like that's just as unnecessary as girls with their- a whole bunch of girls with their boobs out in horror movies. Coming in at sixth place is Freddy's Dead, and I ain't even gonna say the rest of this title because you know it ain't the final nightmare. This movie is a train wreck, but at least it knows it's a train wreck. By this point, the Nightmare on Elm Street writers just knew, like, this series has gone to hell. Let's just run with it. Let's just make some some bucks on a silly movie. See, and I, I don't mind that because right off the bat, you know what you're gonna get. You are gonna get silly Freddy Krueger at his maximum cartoonish potential. It starts off with a Nietzsche quote and then goes to a silly, <laughs> the, the best uh, Freddy Krueger one-liner, which we will get to later. I first saw this movie when I was like nine years old. It was the first uh, Freddy Krueger movie I'd seen by the way and the the first scene I saw I jumped in right in the middle of it it's the the kid in the back of the van he falls asleep and you but of course you don't know that and he starts opening up this map and it just keeps opening <laughs> and he just keeps opening it and the whole back of the van just fills up with the map and suff almost suffocates him I mean that, how do you even come up with that? That is hilarious. I was cracking up when I saw that. It's by far the cheesiest and silly of the entire franchise, and that's not a bad thing. If you want to see Silly Freddy at his maximum potential, this is the movie for you. Coming in at fifth place is the 2010 remake just titled A Nightmare on Elm Street. See, I'm a sucker for Scary Freddy, and the first 20 minutes of this movie, the opening act, is terrifying. Best by far the best kill in the entire Nightmare franchise is that beginning knife stab to the neck when he's the slow thing, I don't know, that, oh god, that, that still freaks me out. I love, I love the first 20 minutes of the movie, I can't say the same about the third act, unfortunately. By the time we get into the second act, it is all just fanfare, and I hate fanfare. Callbacks to the original, I mean, I'm not kidding, I don't think there was a single original line of dialogue throughout the rest of this movie. He literally he literally says the exact same one-liners that everybody loves from the original. Nobody likes when a remake does that. Why would you remake something that was already perfect? Don't fix it if it ain't broke. If you really want to enjoy this movie, just watch the first 20 minutes and then turn it off. Coming in at fourth place is Freddy vs. Jason. I don't know why, I just love this movie. Yeah, the plot sucks and there's this the crappiest characters probably in either of these series. 
in this movie. But the thing is about this movie is that Jason and Freddy both have some of the sweetest kills of any of their movies combined. I mean, the bed snap kill, the scene where Jason just cuts that guy in half. There's some sweet stuff in this movie. And I'm gonna say it again because it needs to be said. Why in the f is everybody flying around like they defy gr gravity in this movie? I, I don't know. Besides an awesome production value, the rest of this movie just is crap. Coming in at third place is Wes Craven's New Nightmare. I know this is an unpopular opinion, but for the series, this is a breath of fresh air for me. The creators went back to their roots and tried to create that scary Freddy from the first movie, and I think they did it successfully. This movie is kind of like if A Nightmare on Elm Street and Scream had a regretful night of unprotected sex and then had this baby. With the meta humor of Scream and the original scary Freddy Krueger from the first movie, we get a, a whole brand new kind of concept that I really dig. The characters in this movie are the actors from the original movie coming back to play themselves in this movie. It's really confusing. You kind of got to watch it to understand. Coming in at second place is A Nightmare on Elm Street 3, Dream Warriors. Yes, this movie I think is the perfect mixture of, of Silly Freddy and Scary Freddy. We have some awesome one-liners. The best Freddy Krueger one-liner ever is in this film. And we also get some pretty brutal kills, so I, all in all, I really like this movie. It's probably my favorite Freddy appearance in the entire series. And coming in first place, getting that gold, is Nightmare on Elm Street, the original. Yes, I had a very hard time putting this at the top. I said I was gonna do, I was gonna give the sequels a fairer chance this time around. But overall, this is a superior movie compared to, compared to Dream Warriors. The thing I do like about Dream Warriors, like I said, is that it's a kind of a mix. It kind of, it kind of embodies the whole series as a whole. If you want to understand this series, watch Dream Warriors. If you want to see a kick horror movie though, Nightmare on Elm Street unfortunately takes the cake. And I say unfortunately because I really want to put something that's not the first movie as the as the front. I kind of regret putting Friday the 13th part one as the first the best movie in the whole series. Honestly four or two, I love to watch those the, the most personally. But I put what the most influential was at the top. This time around, I'm just gonna, I just put the, my favorite movie from the series, overall. This is the best one to watch, in my opinion. It's the scare, it's honestly the scariest. It has some pretty cool effects, except for that last kill. Let's just, let's just pretend that doesn't exist, okay? The blow up doll through the window, yeah, that, that just didn't happen. But besides some minor weird practical effects, like I just said, this is really a superior horror film. The idea of somebody coming into your dream and killing you, it's a its super original, super scary. I love Freddy Krueger besides like some of his sequels. Also, now I'm going to be starting a new thing with my ranking series. I'm just going to give this the whole series something out of 10. I forgot to do it with the Jason movies and I kind of wish I would have, so I'm just going to do it right now. Friday the 13th gets an 8 out of 10 for me. I love the Friday the 13th series. I just think that some of the movies are just way too get way too cheesy for me, way too silly. Jason isn't a character that I really find that silly. He's someone who could be more scary, so I kind of wish they would have went with the scarier route in that series. Also fun fact, I guess the guy who's who did Jason uh who J Jason Lives part 6, a fan favorite by the way, movie. Um, is currently working on a sequel where apparently it's going to be Jason in like the winter time attacking people, which I think is going to be awesome. I hope they do it. It's going to be canon with the original series, I guess. So I, that's going to be f awesome. I can't wait for that movie. But don't worry, I'm still focused on the Nightmare on Elm Street series. Just a little sidetrack there. But if I had to rank the Nightmare on Elm Street series, I'd give it about a seven out of ten. I love uh, Freddy Krueger is unfortunately my least favorite of the four big slashers. I just. Four? I guess there's more than four slashers, right? Of the biggest slashers, he's probably my least favorite, though. I mean, he's the idea of Freddy Krueger is terrifying, but the way they went with it through the series, they just made him the silly guy that had the worst one-liners, or the best, depending on your opinion. I just... Uh, he's just too silly for me to really be terrified of. I'm not really scared of these movies. They're more just fun things to watch if you want to just see someone get murdered in their dream in some silly way. This is These are the movies for you. Personally, I'd like seeing something actually scary. Even Chucky has like more of a... The first three movies are at least a little serious. Then they got silly with them. 
But I guess I just appreciate that a little more than just silliness almost the entire time. Thank you for watching my Nightmare on Elm Street ranking video. Please follow me on Twitter at KillJoyJake1 and don't forget to smash that like button and hit subscribe if you want to see more horror classics get ranked. And don't forget to kill it out there, y'all.